Hi, I'm in Verosha. Welcome to Verosha, an abandoned town located in the city of Famagusta on the island of Cyprus. Once a bustling tourist destination, Verosha has been left untouched for over four decades, becoming a ghost town frozen in time. Join us as we explore the haunting and tragic history of Verosha. Yes, sir. Hi. Can I rent a bike? Yes, give me one ID card. ID card? Yes. After over 40 years of being strictly closed off to the public and guarded by Turkish military, part of the town has recently been opened to the public. First, I need to rent a bicycle. I tried to search for a comfortable bike for my journey. However, they all appeared to be barely rideable with hard seats, no suspension and squeaky brakes. Russia was a beautiful resort town located in the district of Famagusta on the eastern coast of the island of Cyprus. It was established in the early 20th century and quickly became a popular destination for wealthy visitors from all over the world. At its peak in the 1960s and 70s, for Russia was a preferred holiday spot for celebrities like Elizabeth Taylor, Bridget Bardot and Richard Burton. The town boasted beautiful beaches, luxurious hotels and high-end restaurants that catered to the international jet set. The British played a significant role in the development of Russia as a tourist town. Cyprus was a British colony until 1960 and during that time the British invested heavily in developing for Russia's infrastructure to attract tourists. The British also helped establish the modern banking and finance sectors on the island, which further fueled the growth of the town. tension between the Greek and the Turkish Cypriot communities on the island, for Russia continued to thrive as a symbol of unity, with people of different ethnicities and religions living and working side by side. By the 1960s, for Russia was a thriving metropolis, with visitors from all over the world flocking to its shores. The time was a symbol of the prosperity and modernity that Cyprus was experiencing at the time. However, the town's fate took a tragic turn in 1974 when Turkey invaded the island. tensions on the island reached a boiling point, leading to the Turkish invasion of Cyprus. This invasion marked a turning point in the history of Cyprus, resulting in the displacement of thousands of people and the division on the island. Verosha, which was located in the northern part of the island, was immediately closed off to the public as it became part of the Turkish-controlled territory. between the Greek and Turkish communities on the island were long-standing. 
and they reached a breaking point in 1974. The Turkish invasion resulted in the displacement of thousands of people and the division on Ireland. The British played a role in this conflict as well, as they were still present in Cyprus at the time and had the responsibility to maintain peace on the island. However, their efforts proved to be insufficient, as the Turkish invasion led to a long-standing division between the Greek and the Turkish communities on the island. As in many countries in history, such as Hong Kong, India and Israel, the British also left Cyprus in a mess. I tried to quickly continue along this road, pretend I didn't see any guards, but was forced to turn back. standing but they were slowly deteriorating. Again, my attempts to explore off the main path was shot down by military police. were deserted and nature began to reclaim much of the town. The once beautiful hotels and cafes were now covered in dust and debris and the abandoned homes and businesses were left to decay. efforts of some people to maintain the buildings, Russia was slowly being forgotten. The town remained a symbol of the division and conflict that still plagues Cyprus today, as it stands as a stark reminder of the human cost of war.
I reached the end of the road and as a local opened the gate to let his car through, I thought it was finally my chance to attempt to venture off peace. I turned around to find military staring at me, so I headed back. The Russia was closed off to the public for many, and access was strictly prohibited, with visitors only able to go to nearby beach and get a glimpse of the abandoned buildings across the barricades. In October 2020, the Turkish government announced that it would reopen Russia to the public after 46 years of closure. This decision sparked controversy as it was seen as a violation of UN resolutions calling for time's return to its former inhabitants. Today, visitors can enter the town and explore its abandoned buildings and streets. However, access to many areas is still restricted, and visitors must obtain permission from the Turkish authorities to enter those areas. Despite this, the reopening of Russia has provided an opportunity for people to see the town's decaying beauty up close and learn about its tragic history. is still a controversial issue, as many people see it as a political move that ignores the human costs of the conflict that led to its abandonment.
It also seemed like many of the people walking around weren't other tourists, but also plain closed security, stopping me from crossing the ropes and entering the buildings. As I was leaving, a guard shouted at me to stop filming. I still don't know why. The question of the town's ownership and the fate of its former inhabitants remains unresolved and is a reminder of the ongoing division and conflict on the island of Cyprus. <laughs> 